Martez. D Martez. D Martez. It's the D Martez show. show. D D Martez. Hey, what's up? It's Wednesday, May the 29th, 2013. Yeah, the end of the month just about already. Welcome to the DeMartez Entertainment News Show. I am your host, your brother, your cousin, your uncle, your best friend, your co-worker, your castmate, neighbor. Everything wrapped up into one. So here's what I do for you on the DeMartez Show. I give you the latest in entertainment news and more. So you'll always be kept in the loop. Here's what I have for you on today's show. Gonna tell you about a Papa John's customer who receives a racist voicemail from a Papa John's employee. Yeah, it's gone viral. Also, Destiny's Child's new song, You've Changed, featured on Kelly Rowland's new album, and I'll play a little snippet of the song for you. Also, Outcast member Andre 3000, tragedy has struck him. And I'll fill you in on that. And last but not least, Tyler Perry's new dramatic series, The Haves and the Have Nots, premiered last night. And I'll give you a review on the show. Is it worth watching? Or or is it just another Tyler Perry series? So I'll definitely fill you in. But first, celebrity birthdays. Today, Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, 30 years old, the big 3-0 for the New York Knicks star. Latoya Jackson, 57 years old. And she looks every bit of it. Melanie Brown, better known as Mel B. Remember, she used to be Scary Spice. Also, Eddie Murphy, baby mama. 38 years old today. Melissa Etheridge, rock star Melissa Etheridge, 52 years old today. Remember her big hit? Come to my window. I'll be home soon. I'll be home. I'll be Okay, and last but not least, the oldest Jackson, Reby Jackson, 63 years old today. Look at Reby. And it's funny because with those Jacksons, like, I see Janet in her. I see a little bit of Michael. I see a little bit of Boo Boo Jackson from around the corner. Those Jacksons, I tell you. So, um... Last night, also, the Indiana Pacers got even with Miami Heat last night after a 99-92 victory. Now, LeBron James led the Heat with 24 points, but uh, that wasn't enough. The Heat will host Game 5 tomorrow night at 7.30 Central Standard Time. So, uh, yeah, and I was reading the blogs and message boards, and, um, you know, the Heat fans were pretty quiet. So, maybe they'll get it back in Game Five. Want to go to the movies this weekend? Well, this weekend on Friday, Will Smith's new movie kicks off, After Earth. That's with him and his son, Jaden. And also Morgan Freeman's new film, Now You See Me. And hopefully you'll be able to see the movie without going to sleep. Unlike Morgan Freeman, who can't stay up during interviews. You know, that was funny how he just went to sleep in the midst of that interview. All right. So first, let's get it kicked off with Destiny's Child. Yeah. Kelly has a new song on her album, uh, and she revealed it on yesterday. It's for her album, Talk a Good Game. Now, Kelly specifically stated that this song is not a Destiny's Child track. It's her featuring Beyonce and Michelle. Okay, Kelly. All right, we get it. But is the song a hit? That's the big question. Well, let's take a listen. Here it is. You've changed. Okay, and maybe you've changed may not play. There it is. Like it? Yes, no, yeah, yeah. I don't like it because I had a little technical difficulty with it. But uh, yeah, you've changed. It sounds like Destiny's Child. One thing I will say is that Kelly has definitely stepped up her vocal game. Like, her vocals are a beast um, now. They really, really are. I guess Beyonce is letting her sing more. 
Now, Andre 3000, yeah, very, very, very tragic news for him. According to several reports, his mother was found dead on yesterday at her home in Georgia. Her name is Sharon Benjamin. Andre's mother was in her early 60s. She was the founder and guiding force of the Starlight Camp for underprivileged children, which she ran out of the New Morning Light Missionary Baptist Church in Conley, Georgia. Now, the cause of her death is unknown at the time. Andre 3000, whose real name is Andre Benjamin, just celebrated his 38th birthday on Monday. Wow, and then on Tuesday, he finds out that his mother uh, is dead. So definitely say a prayer for Andre and you know all of his family. That is definitely very tragic. So Tyler Perry's The Haves and The Have Nots. Yes, his new dramatic series, which premiered last night on own two hours the show is an hour and they show two episodes you know tyler perry shows like 72 episodes of his shows back to back so what do i think of the haves and the have nots is it a half or is it a not it is a half oh yes definitely tyler has done good with this one now, if you can get past the way it looks, because to me it has kind of like a cheap look. It looks kind of cheesy, but it's supposed to be like a primetime soap opera, which that's what it is. But the content, the writing, the acting, it's good. It really is good. Now, I'm not going to say, yes, it's the best, it's the best. No, but it is good. If you like soap operas like... Dallas or Dynasty, you know, if you like stuff with Scandal and this one sleeping with that one and, you know, interracial dating and drugs and prostitution and, you know, homosexuals, yeah, all of that. And that was just in the first two episodes. So I want to say hats off to Tyler because he's really done good with this one. I was reading the message boards and uh, a lot of people are loving it. They're saying it's their new Tuesday night addiction. So you'll have the have and the have nots uh, on Tuesdays. And then when Scandal comes back on, um, you'll have that on Thursdays. But until then, you can enjoy the haves and the have nots on own. So hats off to Tyler Perry. Now tonight he's going to kick off his uh, comedic series entitled Love Thy Neighbor. So that'll be interesting. I'll check it out and I'll definitely fill you in on that. So Papa John's customer receives a racist voicemail from an employee. Now what is all that about? On Sunday, a Papa John's customer was left a voicemail by a Papa John's employee. That was racist. The Sanford, Florida customer had a Papa John's pizza delivered to his home on Sunday. Yeah, that's normal. After receiving his pizza and eating it, the customer received a call from the Papa John's employee, but it was by mistake. Yeah, you know, the good old butt dial call. The customer did not answer the call, but his voicemail did. And in the voicemail, the Papa John's employee complains about a $5 tip and says, and I quote, I guess that's the only requirement for being a nigger in Sanford. Yeah, they give me five bucks there. Fine, outstanding African-American gentleman of the community. Now, let me first say this. You know, a $5 tip for the pizza guy, I'm sorry, is a pretty decent tip. Like, if you've ordered a $12 pizza and you've given a $5 tip, uh, I mean, that's decent. Okay, so the employee goes on to sing the N-word using the opera Figaro. So instead of saying Figaro, he says Negro. Yeah, so I'm going to play a clip because uh, the clip has gone viral for you. It's kind of hard to hear, but uh, we'll see what happens here. But here's the clip of the Papa John's employee leaving the racist voicemail for the Papa John's customer. Oh, 
Wow. Yeah, I know. That that's that's a lot. It really is a lot. And uh the customer posted the audio clip of the voicemail on YouTube and the YouTube video has gone viral. Now on Monday, Papa John's CEO issued a public apology on the Papa John's Facebook page. He says, I'm extremely concerned to learn about the language used by two former employees in one of our restaurants. Their thinking and actions defy both my personal and the company's values and everything for which this company stands. The employees responsible for this absolutely unacceptable behavior were immediately terminated. I'm very sorry that anyone would be exposed to these hurtful and painful words by any person involved in any way with our company. I have personally reached out to our customer to share my own thoughts and offer my deepest apology. Wow. So, yeah. Um, you know, it's always something at Papa John's. I tell you, you just can't get pizza there. All right. Well, that concludes the DeMartez Show for today. Hope you've enjoyed. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter at D underscore Martez Show. And you can also like my Facebook fan page. Yeah, Facebook.com backslash DeMartez Show. Spread the word about the DeMartez Show. Tell all your family. Tell your friends. I keep you in the entertainment loop. Look out on Monday. Yeah, Monday morning at 6 a.m. That Central Time visit dmartez.com for co-eds. That's right, Demartez presents co-eds. It's me and my friends and we sit at the table and talk entertainment news. Very, very funny show. Lots of opinions and lots of laughs. Well, that's it for now. Enjoy your day. Remember to visit dmartez.com each and every day, all day, so you can stay in the loop in entertainment news and more. <laughs> all right. Enjoy and remember Demartez. I love you listening. D Martez, D Martez, D Martez. It's the D Martez show.